Hello everyone, this is Daily Developing here, and today we're going to be going over a problem that was asked by Microsoft. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so here's our problem. We're given a string, and what we have to do is we have to generate all possible sequences of that string. So for example, if we're given XYZ, well, one possible substring is XYZ itself, then, you know, you could take, for example, YZ, right? So you could take YZ, X, Y, so all of these are possible subsequences, but you have to note that ZX is not a valid subsequence. It is not in the order of the given string, right? So for example, you can make XZ, I mean, if you get rid of Y, right, you end up with XZ, but you can't end up with ZX. All right, so you have to write it and yeah, you have to write a function that will return all of these possible subsequences. Uh, I'm going to encourage you all to stop the video, try to solve it yourself and then come back to me. All right, so I'm going to be going over how to solve this. All right, so first thing that I want to do is let's create a function. Uh, let, I'll just call it like all subsequences, right? And let's start with, okay, so answers equals and pro probably let's put a string. So one possible answer is the whole string itself, right? Which kind of makes sense, right? If it's X, Y, Z, well, X, Y, Z is one of the possible answers. Now, first thing that I would like to check is if, you know, string, if the, or I guess if the length of string is equal to one, right? Then we just have to return answer. So then you can't really, like for example, if the string is X, well, there's only one substring, right? Just X. You can return X. Other otherwise, isn't much to be done there. Okay. So, uh, first thing that I would like to do is let's find a way on how to get rid of just one letter. All right. So let's just get an example. All right. Let's just say let's just say um, we want to print all subsequences of X, Y, Z, and D. All right. So let's take this X, Y, Z, and D. It has four letters. Uh, if we want to bring it down to three letters, well, we could do either we could get rid of X, or we could get rid of Y, we could get rid of Z, or we could get rid of D, right? But for example, if we get rid of the middle, let's take Z for example, then what we need to do is we need to take the left side and we need to add the right side, all right? So in that case, so we have to write a function that would not, that would first loop through, right? This is, this is what I want to want to do. I want to write a function that would loop through every single character and then generate all the possible strings, all the possible strings that all the possible subsequences that it could, it could make, right? So for example, uh, what we could do here is let's make four I in range from zero to length of string. And so now what we could do is an answer equals to, and let's make, let's make a string, right? So we wanna make two things. We wanna take the, the I, we want to do everything that's on the left of I, and plus everything that's on the right of I, right? So if you remember that old picture, right? So let's say we take Z, we want X, Y plus D, right? We want the left side plus the right side. In order to do this, what I'm going to make it is I'm going to add F here. And what F will allow me to do is it'll allow me to open brackets. And now I can put an actual code in here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do string and then starting from zero to I. All right. So in other words, give me the left side. Right? And we're gonna put it in the string. So let's just say the left side is XY, right? This will return, okay, XY. Then, open brackets. Now I want the right side. And the way I'm going to do it is string, and then not I, but I plus one, to the length of uh, string, right? So plus one, so this would skip over the Z, right? So from Z from zero to I, it'll give X, X and Y, and then I plus one, so in other words, I'm gonna skip over the Z. I'm going to do, you know, just D. So the right side would be just D in this case, right? And so, yeah, and now what I wanna do is I want to do answer, answers, 
got a pen or oh uh, this should be answers okay, okay. so answers got a pen answer All right and now at the end let's just return answers so with if we run this right now, so we get the whole sub, so whole string, and all the smaller substrings, but they are all three letters wrong, long, right? Because we only reduced it down to three letters. All right, now what we have to do is, not only do we have to reduce it to three letters, but now we also have to reduce it to two letters, and, and then at the end to one letter, right? Currently, our function only reduces it by one letter. So for example, if we take X, Y, and Z, and run this again, right now we reduce it to two letters so it just takes whatever we have and reduces it by one uh and so how can we how can we make it so that it reduces all the way down and you know in order to do that i'm going to use uh recursion here so let's make a sub let's call this sub answers equal to all subsequences of the answer right so in other words when we have this yz now put this yz back here and now give me give me all the possible subsequences that yz have has right um and so that way what we're going to have is now okay in sub answers and now let's do answers extend sub answers right so what extend does is it pretty much takes this array and it extends this one so let's say this area has five five uh you know strings is going to add all those five strings into answer so if we run this right now we will have all of all of these numbers but as you see it has multiple repeats right so because we don't have because we have z multiple times right because we we, we find z in yz we also find z in x z right you know there are a lot of repeats here but we currently have all of them you know if you see we have x we have y we have z we have all the seven letters it's just that they are repeated multiple times so uh, let's get rid of the repeats now and the way we do it is we can make four four uh sub answer and sub answers right and now we can do an if statement so if sub answer is not in sub uh is not in answers right then add answers that append sub answer all right so this way if something is already in answers don't add that if it's not if it's something new then add it so currently if we run this all right as you see we have one two three four five six seven answers all right so we have all we have seven return and now if we check we actually got all the substrings right so for example we have x right we've got y we got z we got xy where's uh, xy then we got xz we got yz and xyz so this way it takes all it takes the string and it returns all the possible substrings so um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please put thumbs up and subscribe see you next time